Hello Internet. I'm Mark and we are here in sunny Aachen and yeah, I wanted to tell you about something that I found in the Mac OS X library last week. Like I was just looking for something to lead there because my hard drive was full and yeah, weirdly enough, I found an impulse response library by Apple or by Logic. I'm not so very sure why it was there, but I assume that everybody who once had Logic installed on their Macs uh, have it there. Maybe even more people, maybe even those who had GarageBand. So you might just want to check out the file path that I'm going to show you and have a look. After that, I'm going to show you how you can take those Apple files that they are in a very strange format, you're going to see that, and how you can convert those into waves so that you can use them in virtually any convolution plugin or like in any other way that you wish to use them. Yeah, that's about it. Let's get right into the Mac. So you go into your main hard drive um, library, as I said, um, don't get confused. I turned my system into French. So uh, we call it Le Bibliothèque. And <laughs> then you go into the subfolder audio. And then here you have it already. Let's make this big. You have an impulse response folder on this in that noise. Here, that's what I mean. If you open it, then there will be a subfolder called Apple. We don't really know where it comes from. I don't really know where it comes from. But it must be from a thing called Space Designer that Apple has once offered because SDIR, um, after some Googling, you all, it always refers to this Space Designer thing that goes on uh, in the Apple audio world. So SD stands for Space Designer and IR for Impulse Response. Um, yeah, and when I found it at first, I was like, oh man, that's absolutely not useful at all until I googled SDIR and it's not like something super specific. It is just an uh, uncompressed audio file, which made me think, oh, you might be you might be able to convert this into wave. And then I was doing this and yeah, that kind of worked. And, <laughs> and yeah, in order not to just uh, rename a shitload of files that we have here in each and every subfolder, as these are like lots and lots of good impulse responses, um, I was looking for an audio converter that can do it. You could also just like rename it, but um, I found that with some SDIRs it wouldn't work because they have like maybe a specific header type of stuff going on in the file. So if you use an audio converter, I thought it would be a little better. And I came up with a thing called XLD. Uh, just Google it. Wait, uh, let me drag this on the recording screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you just Google XLD, uh, I put this link in the description if you want. It was a very easy install, nothing to compile or such bullshit. So I'm not going to show you this because I think that you are intelligent uh, enough to do it yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should be. If you're interested in impulse responses, then you're surely an intelligent person. <laughs> <laughs> so let's convert this shit. Uh, we go to XLD and don't be confused by it. It doesn't have a window. It will just appear in this. Um, it is on a second screen now. Oh, fuck this. How do I get it on this screen? Ah, oh, yeah, now we have it. So it will just appear to be in the. Uh, I don't know how this thing is called. Top title bar <laughs> in the in the apple top bar you will have the xld stuff and we will just press command and comma uh, to access the preferences and here you will have the general stuff going on i mean it's a converter so you can obviously define the output format i thought wave is fine i like wave and then you can define the Mm, output folder. You can also say that it's ident that it shall be identical to the input folder, which is kind of handy 
so I left it with that. And the important thing also is to like do this batch processing, have a look in the batch processing settings to make sure that it only converts those bullshit SDIR files. You can restrict files to open with SDIR extension. You just type the extension. It's no big deal. And also very interesting, delete original files after successful conversion. So the SDIRs gets instantly deleted once they had a successful conversion to wave, which is kind of cool because after all, we want to get rid of this SDIR bullshit, right? So let's just make a safe copy of this Apple folder. If anything goes wrong, we'll have this folder here. So yeah, let's just convert the shit out of it, I guess. We press on ouvrir, open in English. And in this opening order, we just drag this folder that we want to convert that contains all the impulse responses in SDIR. And it asks us again if we really want to delete the ones that have been successfully con ver converted, right? So the SDIRs, not the waves. And we surely want to release those fuckers. Let's go. Yeah, that was quite fast, wasn't it? And now we have a bunch of waves in our folder, which is what we ultimately like. And then we can drag this folder to our desktop. And from here on, you can do with it whatever you want. And having this folder spawned in me the idea of finally um, making an impulse response folder where you collect like all the impulse responses that you've got from somewhere, recorded yourself, that you've stolen from big companies. Yeah, to just all put them in a in a folder, really. Like... Like this, right? Yeah, also kind of handy. It was really easy to rip those Ableton IRs. So I'm just going to show you where they are because lots of you might have Ableton if you watch this. You just go in your Ableton folder, which on Mac is in your home folder, then in music. Uh, and then Ableton is in music because it's a music production program. Then you go further down the rabbit hole in factory packs. And then there will be this convolution reverb factory pack if you have this factory pack installed. If not, dude, what the fuck is wrong if you get those convolution reverb max for life stuff on your hard drive? It's good. And then you uh, uh, show package contents of this and then you are into the package and here is an IR folder that you can and you know it's not even SDIR it's just really usable stuff like AIF nice and you can copy this folder as well to your impulse response library and kind of centralize your impulse response business because having it centralized like this you can you know it sparked me it sparked the idea of me to get like f finally get a proper convolution plugin like this here, m convolution mb it would be the same you know like you get your standard uh impulse responses but wouldn't it be like so much nicer to just uh, load up the impulse responses that you got from Logic or from Ableton or that you recorded yourself like and now you have you can make yourself such a folder based on what you've stolen from Apple what you have conquered from Ableton and what you've recorded yourself then you're not restricted anymore to ha using the Ableton IRs in Convolution Pro and using the logic IRs in <laughs> fucking logic <laughs> yeah freeze up your game all right guys that's about it i hope the rest of your day will proceed just the way you wish it to be and um yeah love you so how the fuck do i stop this now